Hello Vinyl Community, Matt here, and uh, I'm on my way to a couple of record stores that I've never been to before. Uh, one was recommended by my friend Gregory Short, and that is Penny Lane Records. Um, and actually, I forget the city that's in. <laughs> I think it's in, uh, uh, geez, like Upland or somewhere, Southern California. Um, the other one is Doctor Strange Records, which is in Alta Loma, um, about 25 minutes away. So, yeah, we're going to go hit those up. I don't know if Greg's been to uh, Doctor Strange Records or not, but they both, um, uh, they're both they both reasonably close to each other, so I thought I'll take this opportunity to hit up both of them, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what they're like. Um, don't really have anything too specific that I'm looking for. You know, I, it, it's, it's all going to depend, obviously, on price, condition, we'll see. Don't really have a budget in mind, but I don't intend to spend too much. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's, um, let's see, we've got about 25 minutes to go, so, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Hey guys, so I just um, left the uh, Doctor Strange record store, and um, it's a cool store. I didn't realize this before I went in, but they specialize exclusively in punk, post-punk, new wave music, and uh, and also uh, 
metal as well, like I saw some Iron Maiden, so they clearly um, dabble in, in the metal genre too. So yeah, that was kind of kind of cool because I've been getting into new wave recently, post punk stuff. Um, I haven't made the leap yet to to fully punk, but uh, you know maybe one day. Uh, so that was kind of cool. Really nice guy who worked in there named Bill. He let me do some filming, um, as you guys saw, and. Um, um, I didn't want to, to interview him because uh, there were a few customers in there, and he was helping people, so I didn't want to kind of, uh, uh, you know, be an inconvenience. But uh, I did buy one record. I bought Split Ends True Colors. Um, this, uh, this, I thought this was a pretty reasonable price. This was eight bucks. That's really not bad for a record store. And this is, um, th there are a couple of different versions of this. I already have one version of it. I have the cheaper version, uh, <laughs> uh, which has a different, uh, a similar pattern on it, but a different color. I think it's yellow, if I remember. Um, but the version that I have skips, which is really disappointing. It was an eBay purchase that I, I never show, I, I didn't show it um, on, on in any of my previous videos. But uh, yeah, it skips and, and so that kind of sucked. But this one hopefully will not, and this is a more expensive version that has the um, it has a laser etching in it. So let me see if the camera can pick this pick this up. But um, both sides have a laser etching, which is interesting. So we'll see, see how this plays. But um, I don't know if you guys can see, yeah, you can see the camera picking that up. All of that pattern is laser etched, both sides. That's really neat, really neat, and um, the. Uh, the sort of lead track for this, the lead single, is uh, the song "I Got You." It's a pretty well-known song. Uh, actually, it's a it's a really good song. It, it really is a great track, and it's worth it just for that. I don't remember what the rest of the album's like. I don't think I listened to it all because I was so disappointed when it started skipping uh, with the copy I already have. So I thought that was actually pretty good for eight bucks. I, I really, I really did. Um, so yeah, we're now going to move on. Oh. I also picked up a copy of uh, Record Collector magazine. Uh, you guys have seen this before. Both Gregory Short and myself have shown this. Uh, it looks like this has um, articles about Miles Davis and John Coltrane, and it also has uh, some stuff about The Who, Nina Simone, Andrew Lloyd Webber, and oh, Sister Sister Rosetta, Sister Rosetta Tharp. That's cool. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna now move on to Penny Lane Records, and um, uh, yeah, you guys stay tuned. Okay, so you guys can see I'm now at home because uh, that was kind of a bust with Penny Lane. The um, the the store is closed until the end of the month because they're moving. So um, there was a couple other people there who were trying to get in, but the uh, the owner, I guess it was, came out and was clearly turning people away. So never mind. So instead, I did go to a uh, a pawn shop that I've been to. Well, I haven't been, been there for some time, but I, I've bought records there once or twice before. And I um, actually got some pretty good stuff. But before we do that, since I'm now at home, I can show you the uh, the old version of the Split Ends album. This is the one that skips. You can see it's got a yellow cover instead of the blue one. that has the, the laser etching on it. So, oh, and that as well from Doctor Strange. Pretty cool. So yeah, I found some pretty good stuff at this uh, this pawn shop, and um, pretty reasonable, uh, three dollars each. I think that's pretty cheap. So we we got um, New Golden Dream by Simple Minds. Um, this has glittering prize and promise you a miracle on it. I don't recognize the titles of the other the other tracks, but um, yeah, I, I do have um, one of their other albums. I have. Um, Oh, I forget the name. Anyway, the one that has like Sanctify Yourself on it, etc. So yeah, my, my second Simple Minds album. Next up we have Ultravox The Collection. Very pleased to find this. Um, I do have uh, their uh, Vienna album, and of course the track Vienna is on here as well. But, yeah, I mean it's got a bunch of their other hits on it, like All Stood Still, um, Him, which I think actually is on the, the uh, Vienna album as well. Uh, let's see, Reap the Wild Wind, that was a number 12 hit in the UK. So yeah, again, $3. Next up, I was uh, really surprised, pleasantly surprised to find this 12-inch single of Sadness Part 1 by Enigma. I didn't even know that this was a hit in the US, so maybe it wasn't, I don't know. But um, yeah, this is, a, this is kind of a classic... Uh, 
Oh, trip hop, sort of chill electronic uh, track. Looks like it's got four, yeah, four different mixes on it. And again, three dollars. Next up, we have ELO's Greatest Hits, Electric Light or Orchestra. I do have one of their albums, but on vinyl. But um, you know, I'm in. You know, I like them, but I'm not like a massive fan. So this is kind of a good way to to get hopefully the bulk of the um, better known songs in one shot. So it's got a let's see which ones do I recognize? Living Thing, um, Telephone Line, Mr. Blue Sky, maybe one or two others. But but yeah, get three dollars. I thought that was it's still in the shrink too. Uh, next up, we have another greatest hits album. <laughs> Little River Band. Uh, I have a few of their albums on vinyl, but and I like them. But this is a good way to uh, kind of condense it down a bit because I, I don't like them to the point where I want to collect all their albums individually. So this uh, is a greatest hits album. So it's got uh, I know most of these tracks actually. Um, it's a long way there. Help is on its way. Reminiscing, which I think I have the forty five of too. Man on your mind. I don't know the other guy. I don't know. Um, the Night Owls, okay. Lonesome Loser, Take It Easy On Me, Down On The Border, Happy Anniversary, Lady, and Call Change, which is my favorite song of theirs. Um, and this is still in the shrink too. I don't remember what label this is on. It's on, uh, oh, it's on Capital. Yeah, that's right. The purple Capital label. Yeah, and it's sort of funny that the, this pawn, pawn shop I mentioned has, uh, Oh, probably a few hundred records in there, and I, as I'm kind of going through them, I keep finding little clusters of like, um, like eighty stuff. And unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, <laughs> I, I already, uh, already had quite a few of them, so I, I didn't uh, pick those up. But uh, this is one that I've seen. Uh, it's not an uncommon album. I've seen it around, but never bought it. But finally, because this is still in the shrink and still has the hype sticker, I thought, okay, I'm gonna pull the trigger. That is, um, Spring Session M by Missing Persons. Um, it's really, um, uh, as far as I'm aware, I, I, I don't remember them, but as far as I'm, I'm aware, it's um, really kind of new wave, essentially. Um, kind of post-punk new wave music. They weren't particularly big, certainly not in the UK. I think they did a little bit better in the US. And I understand just from what I've read that they were uh, popular on MTV back in the day, but they never had really any massive hits. So, but yeah. It's still in the shrink. It's got a bunch of town record stickers on it, um, and the record uh, and the the uh, the price stickers have the date on it too, November eighty two, and nineteen eighty two is when this album came out. So, I guess uh, that's when, uh, if not when this was sold, at least when this was priced up was November of eighty two. And then finally, <laughs> don't laugh, stars on long play. Um, in the UK, this was stars on forty five or star sound. I have the second album of theirs on vinyl, but didn't have the first. This is the one with all the Beatles songs on it. And, uh, I know, again, it's not uncommon, but for three bucks, it's in very nice condition. What the heck. And finally, uh, well, actually, no, not finally. Finally for yesterday, um, we uh, went to dinner at a friend's house, and um, he uh, uh, he's really into, uh, his name's Charlie, he's really into vinyl, um, showed me a setup, really nice, very nice uh, turntable, he has a, a Rager P3, um, which, uh, yeah, it was great to listen to it, he has really nice speakers, I forget uh, the brand of the speakers, but they're nice, like, floor-standing wooden speakers, and um, uh, and he has a lot of um, either half-speed half mastered or mobile fidelity um, pressings as well. And uh, we listened to um, Die Straits Brothers in Arms, and actually we did a kind of little comparison with uh, Walk of Life. We listened to like the intro and the difference between the regular uh, version of the album and the um, the half speed mastering. And I didn't notice a massive difference at high volume, like when the song really kicks in and the bass, you know, the drums and the bass kick in. But at, at low volume, it was noticeable. The um, mobile fidelity was definitely quieter, and it and, and well, quieter. And I'm talking about surface noise on the record, but and also the the it, it's just crisper. Like the the symbols in particular, 
stood out more, whereas they were more sort of pushed into the background in the regular version. So that was um, uh, kind of a cool experience to listen to that. But he also gave me a record. He gave me uh, a sealed copy of Nirvana's In Utero. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, thank you, Charlie. This um, uh, actually not only do did I not have any Nirvana albums on vinyl, I didn't have any. Period. Not even on CD. Um, back in the day, I did. I used to own the um, Unplugged in New York album, which was actually great. But uh, yeah, really pleased. I think he said he he got two copies from Amazon for some, some reason. They sent he ordered one. They sent him two and told him just to keep one. So he uh, he kept it back for me because he knew we were going to be coming over. So um, yeah, it says it's on a hundred hundred eighty gram vinyl. Uh, I didn't unseal it yet. It's still still sealed in the shrink. But um, yeah, I know I know several songs on here, or at least I know of them. So all apologies, Penny Royal T, which was on the Unplugged in New York album. It's a very good song. Um, Dumb. Let's see what else. Oh, Heart Shaped Box and one or two others. So yeah, this and he said that this is his uh, personal favorite album of theirs, or or he thought that was the best album. So yeah, really excited to give that a spin. And finally. Um, I'm just going to combine it. I was going to make a separate video to show these, but what the heck. Um, these are just some mostly new wave um, pickups. The first one actually is not a recent pickup. I just, I had it out the other day and realized that I'd never shown it in a video, and that is um, Alpha Bills Forever Young. I probably got this, uh, oh, six months to a year ago. Um, but uh, it has a big hit on it, big in Japan, but the best song by far is the title track, I think, Forever Young. Really, um, yeah, classic new wave. We also have Dare by the Human League, um, eBay purchase. And uh, let's see, I, I only know three of the songs on here. It has, it has Love Action, I Believe in Love, Open Your Heart, and Don't You Want Me. I do have the 45 of Don't You Want Me, but... Um, but yeah, really pleased to get it. Seller described this as being EX condition. I think that's pushing it slightly. I think it's closer to VG plus, but it's it, it, but it's still it, it's good. It's still still in very nice condition. And then uh, we, <laughs> I think this is one of the most disturbing album covers I've ever heard. Um, the name of the band is It's Immaterial, and the album is Life's Hard and Then You Die. But check out the picture. Check out the artwork. It's <laughs> it's gonna be creepy. Um, this has uh, a song on it called Driving Away From Home, which is also known as Jim's Tune, and uh, it's, it's a classic new wave song. It, it, um, I think it was by far their biggest hit. I don't, I don't know if they had anything else that even made the top 40. I don't know if that made the top 40, to be honest with you. I think it did. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice song, really nice new wave song, and this was really cheap. So, um, and you can still see it's still in the shrink with the hype sticker, which is nice. So yeah, very cool. And then finally, I gotta uh, have a little shout out to Hannah here, the Omaha introvert. But since she kind of, well, she didn't rope me into it; it was my decision. But she, she showed this recently, and that is um, Starfish by the Church. Um, she showed a, a a recent repressing that um, I think I write in saying was VCLT. Um, I, I don't want to say who gave it to her, but because I think I know, but she, she had several, <laughs> she had several VCLT videos, and I, I don't want to get, I don't want to say the wrong person, so, um, but anyway, I'm pretty sure it was VCLT, this is, um, an original pressing, um, it was a pretty good price, I can't remember what, it, it was on eBay, but it was, a, it was a decent price, and of course it has the classic Under the Milky Way on it, which was really the sole reason for buying it, it's, that's a, a, a great song, but, uh, the whole album's good, it really is, I think this was released in 87 or 88, um, 88, so yeah, very cool. So uh, that's it. That's everything, guys. Thanks as always for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.